Purdue University kicked off Indianapolis 500's 100th anniversary with the historic track's first ever electric vehicle Grand Prix. Purdue's race drew student engineers from throughout the United States. I've watched races here all my life and uh, I came here to go to school uh, because India is racing. Like the petrol-powered pioneers from a century ago, the future EV engineers came to Indy to push new transportation technology to the limit. I've been a lot of time on the track, a lot of time in the shop getting it ready, and uh, it's, a, it's a group effort for sure. A $6 million grant from the Obama administration launched the Purdue-led consortium, training a new generation of engineers to bring electrical vehicles to the masses. Clean energy technology is what is going to help spur job creation and economic growth for years to come. Oh, it's, it's hot. President Obama came to Speedway on the eve of the race to reiterate his support for EV technology breakthroughs in Indiana. I want all those new jobs right here in Indiana, right here in the United States of America, with American workers, American know-how, American ingenuity. Purdue students in the IAV Tech program, such as sophomore Sean Kleinschmidt, are already enjoying tremendous success. He's built several EV Grand Prix cars, converted a Porsche to electric, and built a battery-powered 100-horsepower sport bike that can travel 100 miles and exceed 100 miles per hour. I definitely see electric vehicles being the future, so I'm definitely going to be very invested in that. And 20 years down the road, I know I'll be successful when I start seeing uh, electric vehicles in every garage and you'll start seeing more EV plug stations or charge stations or some sort of method of dealing with the batteries rather than uh, gas stations everywhere. Kleinschmidt is well on his way to that dream. He's helped Tesla improve its batteries and is headed to GM to work in their hybrid program. His electric vehicle club is equipping and enabling other students and he's been offered investment to start his own EV company. At Purdue University, I'm Jim Schenck.